Here's what I like Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes Laughing with my friends under the sky Following our hearts, so then we take a ride Wherever I always try to let my spirit fly Fly away That's the only way to get that high Hello from Glenet Eve. So this morning we came out for sunrise and there wasn't a sunrise, well there was, but we didn't get the colours that we wanted. So we've made our way down to Glenet Eve and we've come right to the very end and just settled on the lock. It's quite grey, it's quite flat, but we found some nice compositions, taken a couple of images already. Um, but I'll just show you um, what we've got at the moment. So we think this is Locative and you can see that I've got my camera set up ready with my filters just perched on a rock. Um, but we've been here for maybe half an hour, 40 minutes so far and just tried to find some compositions. Uh, we've took some this way and I'll just spin you around and we've taken a couple that way as well um, so far we've tried a couple of long exposures but yeah it's lovely so we're up in Glencoe for the week uh, staying around 40 minutes just outside of Glencoe maybe an hour um, but yeah, we've been to Glencoe maybe, geez, eight, nine times. And every time we come, we always find somewhere different. Um, it's always a new adventure. There's always something different to, to photograph. Um, that's probably mainly because it's so big. <laughs> um, but I think usually as well, the light and the mood and the atmosphere makes a big difference. So. In my mind anyway I could be here taking this shot now and even tomorrow I'll come back and take the same shot and it'd be slightly different because the sky would be different the light would be different um, so anyway I've at the minute I've got the camera um, set up and I focused on a little cluster of rocks just in the fore foreground and in the background we've got a couple of mountains and um it's just really nice i've taken a long exposure so i've done a five minute 40 and that's picking up the movement in the cloud which is really nice um the light isn't great the light's really really flat um but i suppose in november in scotland it's going to be gray and miserable so yeah it's been a lovely morning really peaceful uh, we saw a couple of little deers and a stag on the way down. Um, there's been one other person that's come down and, and taken a quick image, but we've had the whole place to ourselves this morning, which is lovely. first proper day around Glencoe. We actually arrived on Saturday. Uh, we got here at tea time after about a six hour drive. Um, Saturday night, as you do, you plan where you're going the next day, get everything prepared and organised so that when the alarm goes off at daft o'clock, you can just get up and go. So Saturday night, I said to Max, shall I charge all the batteries, get everything ready? Um, Yep, good idea. Went to the camera bag to discover... Wait one, let me just jump in here. <laughs> she went to the spare room 
and didn't come back. <laughs> and I shout, Bud, are you okay? And I walked into the room and she stood there, ashen, ashen grey. Now you can carry on. <laughs> so I pretty much un unzipped the camera bags um, to get three lots of different batteries out. So the batteries for my camera, the batteries for my vlogging camera and the batteries for the drone. Instantly, I had this wave of absolute dread come over me uh, in the realisation that I hadn't packed any of the chargers. Um, I think the reason being, <laughs> the reason being is um, I reorganised my camera bags and just had in my mind that the camera bags were ready to go. Um, so little piece of advice not that anybody will probably ever need this advice but check and double check we've had a right trauma because yesterday we had to drive up to Inverness um, there's a whole story that I won't bore you with but I spent probably four hours on Saturday night uh, looking on Amazon looking on all the lo local shops uh, to see if anybody did any of the charges Train um, services from Roy Bridge <laughs> to Burnley. <laughs> I even had a look at getting the train home um, to come back, but it was ridiculous. Um, so yeah, today I've got a charger coming for my Nikon for me 750, and I've got a camera coming for the for the vlogging camera as well. A what? A charger. A charger. <laughs> got a charger coming uh, for the vlogging camera. So. Fingers crossed when we get back, uh, they'll be there waiting for us and we can get everything charged. And then on Wednesday, we can go and pick the drone battery up. I think probably because we're in Scotland, um, you know, you, you're used to, aren't you? So used to next day delivery on Amazon. Um, pretty much, to be fair though, uh, the, the charges were only meant to arrive on Wednesday. And I got a little email last night and I could have cried with joy. <laughs> to say that they were coming today so this morning has been the first images that we've taken on our little trip um, we've got a week the weather's not forecast to be good um, but we'll just make the most of it and enjoy it hey bud yep absolutely <laughs> <laughs> with some charges <laughs> <laughs> just back at the car it started to rain um, I'm not sure whether the images are going to be that good if they are I'll put them up on screen um, I took as I said uh, a 5 minute 40 exposure that was using a Nissi 10 stop and a 0.6 soft grad um, they're all right they're okay but we'll see like I say, I'll put them up on screen if, if they're okay. weather's closing in the clouds really really low and it started to rain it looks absolutely magnificent um, 
contemplated getting out and, and taking a shot um, but I think it just needs a little bit of light just to lift it it's still really really flat so we're going to um, go and find somewhere to have some lunch and maybe head out again later um, hopefully the charges will have arrived I'm usually so so organised I, I absolutely check and double check everything um, but never mind they, they should be here when we get back hope you've enjoyed the vlog um, if you have give us a, a subscribe <laughs> hope you've enjoyed the vlog if you have give us a little thumbs up and maybe subscribe and we'll see you on our next adventure adios, adios.